is COVID affecting students' mental health? Well, you know, it's particularly difficult for adolescents, pre-adolescents, because, um, you know, they typically don't have the coping mechanisms that most adults do. And that's why social-emotional learning, uh, things out of Yale University, like emotional intelligence and the SEL programs are very helpful because they don't have the emotional regulation skills, um, they don't have the coping skills. And so when you have a culture right now, as we do, kind of the COVID culture, that immerses, um, immerses people in a lot of information, a lot of which is hard to process and, and very fear-oriented. Um, kids naturally you know, don't have a lot of ways of processing that, so it comes out in anxiousness, you know, in, um, you know, in certain, certain times of being very upset or very angry. And so part of the process right now is just making sure we're very careful about how we handle the kids, um, watching for these kinds of things, and then responding with love and support, knowing that they're having a hard time, you know, managing all of these things that even the adults are having, but they have far less skills in doing that at this time in their lives.